Okay, let's discuss about the system UI starter process. So in this section, we will go through some of the classes uh, which are responsible for the system UI startup. So here is a high level overview of how the system UI is started. Okay. So as you could see here, the Zygote process starts the system server. And the system server in turn starts the system UI. And the system UI finally initializes all the system UI components. So this is how the system UI actually starts. If you haven't heard about Zygote, it's uh, one of the process which starts during the Android boot process. So it's one of the first Android process to get started. And all the rest of the processes get started from the Zygote. Okay. And um, the system server is one of the most important process which Zygote starts and the system server is responsible for a lot of other things. The system server also starts all the services within Android and it is also responsible for starting the system UI. So on a very high level, so this is the process. So the Zygote is started by kernel. The Zygote starts system server and system server is responsible for starting all the services including system UI app. And finally, the system UI actually initializes all the system UI components like navigation bar, status bar, host and all other components. Now let's dig a little bit deeper into that. So here is a sequence diagram of how the system UI gets started. So as you can see here, we have AMS, which is nothing but activity management service. And then we have the system server, which is responsible for starting a lot of services, including system UI app. And then we have the system UI application here, which is basically a class and the system UI service. This is again a class. We'll have a look at this class and then the system UI itself. So the first step is is that the system server receives signal from the Zygote. So this diagram shows the process starting from system server. Okay. So once the system server got the signal from Zygote, it calls this particular function start other services and the start other services in turn called start system UI function. And this start system UI function will create an instance of the system UI application and the own create of this class is triggered. The system UI application extends the application method. Okay. So we'll have a look at this uh, classes in the next sections but for now uh, keep in mind that system ui application extends the application class and it has an on create function which gets triggered when it is instantiated and after this on create the activity management service receives this trigger it calls the start service function and it calls the system ui service and the system ui calls the on create it has an on create uh, function which gets executed and this will call the start service if needed from the system UI application and then from system UI application calls the start method which finally triggers the system UI. So this is the overall sequence diagram of how that works. So now let's um, do a code walkthrough. So I'll visit all these um, classes and see how that works.